All right, guys, right off the bat, on down on the farm, you want to get this secret right here, which contains your machine gun, but we're going to switch back to our liver action shotguns. And if you jump backwards, it's harder. You just want to grab the power up and walk backwards, and then you can take them all out pretty easily there. But watch out for this guy. He loves to flank you while you're dealing with that big group. I like to take this and destroy one of the enemies. And sometimes you can get both with one shot with that can there. We're going to use this can to destroy yet another enemy, and yet I missed terribly. But we still have the barrel here we can use against the chainsaw guy. And then we can wait for the dog and blow it up. I like to just use the double barrel through this entire area right here. There'll be two chainsaw guys. Just wait for them and some more dogs. Sometimes you can get them with one hit. Then you want to switch back to your lever, a lever action here. And take out these two cultists from afar. Remember, you can stun them. Now, very important... If you go out the window, you're safe, but let's say you didn't go out the window. There's a dog that randomly spawns, and there's really no way to tell when he comes, but he's going to always come from the cornfield. The only way to get him to spawn is to jump out of the window. So if you didn't jump out of the window, he'll randomly spawn whenever and just kill you when you're not expecting it. So we want to make him spawn so we can kill him immediately. And there he is. We always want to make sure you get some more assault rifle ammo right here. Now we're going to switch back to the liver action and take out this dog behind the house. Switch to your double barrels and get ready to do a tear through this house. We're off the bat. There's a chainsaw guy. Take him out. Shoot this guy out. Then you can usually get the chainsaw guy as he's running down. And if you don't go too far into the room, you can just... These guys will never come down the stairs. You can just jump up and shoot them. Chainsaw guy right here. Now switch to your machine gun. And be very careful with the two rats. These are end runners right here, let me tell you. And here's your soap if you want to use it. The next part's kind of tricky, guys. Um, it's dangerous and tricky if you're going for all the kills. But there's this guy. We're going to use the double barrel shotgun. There's this guy up here. You want to locate him first. And then use the jump to take him out. It's risky and dangerous, but it can be done. Now, take a chair. Walk to this side. Of the cornfield. We're going to use it to get up on top of the cornfield and ambush the dogs. Now, you may not be able to get all of them right away. And if you don't get one of them like I did here, I missed one, he's going to come back to haunt you later. So, we're, we're, we're going to be very wary when we come back out of the barn once we get this secret here. This is the basketball secret that has all the weapons in it. Make sure you switch to your machine gun, take out this rat. And I like to take out this chest here to get another rivet. Rivets are very important ammo in this game. You don't want to waste it fruitlessly. And another thing, if you take the basketball and you and the basketball go in at the same time, usually you're not going to get it and it will glitch out. So try to get the ball first. Now right here, he's already waiting for me as you can see. Kind of in panic mode right here. But we got him. Track down your ball. And let's go to the hoop. It just has to touch the rim. You don't have to put it inside the hoop. Make sure you get all the items. The rivets are usually easy to miss. You usually forget about them. Once you come out of the teleporter, you'll do a 180 and you'll find yet another secret there. Now switch to your rivet gun because the scarecrow guys are not to be messed with at close range. You want to take them out immediately when they spawn. So just shoot them twice. It usually takes two shots. And there's yet another Scarecrow guy coming up. We'll just want to use the Riveter on him, too. Now, this part is a grind, guys. Use your machine gun and shotgun accordingly. First, you want to make sure you take out the dogs first because they're the most dangerous. We got lucky there. It must have hit the tree trunk. But don't be afraid to retreat. It's very important at this stage because you're nearly through with the level. But you have to alternate between that and the shotgun. Double barrel for the chainsaw guys. Machine gun for the rest. Make sure you get all the rivet ammo. Sometimes you can hit some of the barrels from afar and take out some of the herd. It's just very important to take your time here. Do not get, do not rush because you don't want to rush the spawns. Dogs are your number one priority. Now this guy, 
you can try to use the barrel to take them out. I missed here. Use the rivet gun. Don't mess with these guys. We're still not home free yet. Still quite a few enemies left. Whenever you're being chased like this, always prioritize the dogs. Try to use short control bursts with your machine gun. The old adage is very important. Now, behind this rock is a dog, and I didn't see him right away. Be very careful. I got lucky here. There he is right in front of me. Kind of in panic mode, shooting crazily. There you go. We got him. Now, rivet gun again when we get the key here. Make sure to take out this cultist and then get your rivet gun out. There's going to be a dog behind the, the building here and three chainsaw guys. We're just going to use the rivet to take care of all of them. As soon as you open the door back up, just use the rivet gun to lay waste to the three chainsaw guys and then we'll get the key and the secret switch we need to hit to unlock the hidden level behind these tires here. Now we're home free. We only have three enemies left to kill, but two of them are very dangerous. The two rats that will be in the tunnel we're going to use the rivet gun and not take any chances, but you have to be very quick in the tunnel. If you aren't quick enough, the rats will end your run, and you'll have to do it all over again. When I first entered this door, I thought this chain, this, uh, this scarecrow guy was going to come to life for sure, but he doesn't. But get your rivet gun out and be very careful here. Use the clip as reference. Once you pass that clip, it's very close by, and there it is you don't have much time to react take out the chainsaw guy now you can get over this fence to get a achievement call you're not supposed to be here but there's several opportunities to get it throughout the game that's just one of them all the enemies are dead all we have to do now is get to the secret door that opened and that's near where we got the basketball secret where we had to go through the cornfield up top and drop through and where we killed that rat and that's pretty much it for level two I'll see you guys in part three now make a good habit of saving at the beginning of every new level so I'm going to show you here we got everything and we are on desk mayor Yeah, just make a habit of, of always saving because you, you just want to make a habit of it. And yeah, I have forgotten sometimes and had to start over from way back. So just make sure as soon as the level starts before you even move, just save. And just overwrite your previous save. Alright guys, I'll see you in part three.